There's a guy in my neighborhood who doesn't have a leash on his dog and he rides his bike next to him and speaks to him in German and it makes me so angry. Yeah. Am I a terrible person? No, I I think uh I I can't stand people that don't have their dogs on a leash. And because here's the deal. People are like well, my dog, my dog obeys. My dog is very well trained. I send it to the greatest boarding schools, and my dog is very well trained, and I don't need a leash on it. Well, guess what? Your dog, you're riding your bike, and your dog is riding next to you, totally obedient. <laughs> and you run across the yard of Family A. Yes. Family A's dog isn't trained, sees a dog out in the front yard, and attacks it. So now you don't have a dog on a leash. This dog is protecting its home, whether it's leashed or not. Let's just say it's not. Right. It's protecting its home. It runs down and attacks your dog. I guarantee you're going to get off your bike. In German. In German, you're going to get off your bike. And then you have to now try and separate two fighting dogs without leashes. Let's just say family A's dog does have a leash. You're now trying to separate your dogs. What's going to happen is you on your bike, you're going to call the police and say, this dog attacked me, attacked me and my dog. The first thing the cop is going to ask you, did you have your dog on a leash? No. Guess what? It's your fault. Oh, really? If you are listening to this right now on the radio, if you we don't, do- We're not on the radio. We're on the internet. If, if you are listening to this on the interweb, <laughs> if you do not have your dog on a leash, you are at fault for everything that that and that ensues. That ensues, like you're you don't have your dog on a leash. If somebody else's dog is, isn't on a leash, okay, then it's a wash. But if somebody's if you're walking by somebody's uh, property and a dog is on its property and attacks you, you know you're walking in front of my house and my dog goes down and attacks your dog. You don't have your dog on a leash, dude. That's on you. Now, what about if you have your dog on a rope? Because there's another person. Not a chain. No, because there's another person. Okay, so I have the one guy who is German. And for the record, no matter how many times I hear the German language, it just never sounds good on the ear. No, like it, it just flashes back to the world wars. Like it every does. time, I'm like, Eesh, it really is great. And again, those that are German today have nothing to do with those that are German of the yesteryear. Right. However, when and a he- woman speaking German is oh. about the least sexy <laughs> thing you could think of. Would you like to have German sex? You're super like, efficient. You're like, hey, you're good looking. She's like, Unhausen, gun grausen, gun griegen, gun hausen, gun grausen. And you're just like, what in the what? world? Yeah, whatever boner I had, it really just went down. <laughs> now, if any of my friends in Germany are listening to this, exactly, podcast, we love. I'm not but talking no. about you. We're not talking I do about have you. a bunch of friends in Germany. Do they listen to this? I don't think so. Okay. Anyways, um, but yeah, so there's that. So I have this guy that came by today, and it drove me crazy. I have the other person who has their their dog on what they call a long line. Who yesterday I went out to get a package off of my front porch from Zappos, and the dog was on my porch. They had let it come so far up the driveway. See, that's ridiculous. Well, okay. So you agree that this? Okay. So it's I'm just. See, I don't like wanna... right now my blood is boiling. Okay. Now add to that the next person who has both of her dogs on a rope that she has tied around her waist twice and now comes out the front. So she doesn't hold it. She puts her hands at her hips like she's right. the king of the world. Well, I mean, that's intuitive. Yeah, you but can't. you've got your dog on a rope. And it's yeah, not like but a... It's, it's a leash. Yeah, but it's still a it's rope. It's not an invisible leash. <laughs> Have you seen that? What's that? Like, there, there was a woman walking by me one day. She has a pit bull. Not on a leash. It's got a collar. And these two, I take that back, two huge pit bulls. They look like and Ghostbusters when those statues come alive. <laughs> they look like those, okay? So these pit bulls, these two pit bulls are running around. And me being the person I am, I go, hey, why don't you get those things on leashes? She goes, they are on leashes. They're on electric leashes. What? So in her hand is a clicker. Oh, no. So the dogs are on leashes that if they get further than, say, 60 feet from her. <laughs> 60 feet. They get 
shocked or whatever. Which is totally humane. So they have to come back. Or at any point, she can click the button, and the dogs will get a signal, and they'll run back to her. What? The problem is, for the 60 feet between you (laughs) and me, I have two demon dogs running at me. It's like Hunger Games Yeah, so she's like, they are on a leash. I'm like, no, they're not. So if... Again, if your dog decides to lunge for my kidney, right. and I'm now being shaken violently by your 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 hell dog, you know, your your hellhound, there's nothing for you to pull back. That's crazy to like, me. Like you can buzz that thing all day. Last thing I knew, uh, like a shark or any, you know, <laughs> apex predator, while they're in a feeding frenzy. You can't click a button and it's right, just Right, and you're like, stop. oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, ooh, what I'm was getting I shocked. Thinking? No, I'm going to finish this bite. Right. Swallow, I've and then I'll I've never heard back. of this. It's called an invisible leash. Yeah, it's called an invisible leash. Okay, so at least you're on the same page as me with this whole thing. Oh, because for some it. reason, when that dude goes riding by on his bike with that dog, and he's just about whatever he's saying in yeah. German to him, it drives me insane because my dogs are on a leash, so I'm quickly pulling them back. Yeah. And I will say... For the record, before anybody emails me, is like, you don't understand. My dog's a train. They can do that. This dog has never made it up like an advance towards my dog. Has never said anything. He's never spoken either. <laughs> Nobody's never came at my. I mean, my dog. dog smokes cigarettes, but he doesn't <laughs> talk. Let's get that straight. <laughs> no, so he he this dog, has dog never likes weed. It was ne- <laughs> has never actually come towards us in a way that's bad. But there always is that point where you think, crap, he's not listening to that man on the bike right and he's riding a 10 speed can we talk about that for a second with the curved handlebars yes with the old school like the rams yes. horn yes. handlebars like the like uh. the 1997 kurt warner st louis rams helmet <laughs> yes that's exactly oh, like marshall handlebars. falk is not far behind but yeah like he's gonna do the tour de france any second oh super german super loud towards his dog but they come walking by he's the dog sort of running in front of him and he's he's like yelling things at him you're like dude can you just put your freaking dog on a leash dude yeah but you know me i'm like a people pleaser i'm like keep it cool bro you got it going bud oh yeah this is it this is my life these are the things that drive me crazy there's not even anything more i need to say about this but that drives me insane yeah see i've just i've just reached the the point in my life where I don't care about being cordial with other people. If if someone else is going to be so rude, like me saying something doesn't make now me rude. Like it doesn't make me the rude one in the situation. You are rude because you're essentially you're breaking the law. Right. Like dogs are supposed to be leashed on public property, sidewalks, schools, all that stuff. In Royal Oak, there's this guy that takes his dog to Northwood Elementary School, and the the elementary school is like fenced in. So he's like, I I don't want my dog in my fenced in yard. <laughs> I'm gonna take it to the school. So he just runs his dog. They crap. They do whatever. I don't see him out there with plastic bags. I don't see him with any of that stuff. And then when the dogs are done, he puts them back in the car and he drives home. Yeah, somebody else's problem. Spick and spam. Exactly. And then some, you know. And then your third grader's playing on the playground on Monday and steps in a big turd or, <laughs> or slips and falls in it. You know, you got to come up with a change of clothes, right? Because Bob had to take his retriever up to. I don't like it. I don't like it. People don't think like if your dog's on a leash. Yes, it's nice and cute. Can I pet your dog? Oh, you got a cute Great Dane. Guess what? A Great Dane, a retriever, a Rottweiler, a pit. They're not cool off leashes. Right. Oh, it drives me nuts, man. Well, at least we're on the same page on this one. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get emails. Just go ahead. I'll give you out the email address right now. <laughs> CalCagnoRadio at gmail.com. Tell me about how pit bulls are the greatest dogs ever, and it's all about raising them, because that's exactly what kind of emails we'll get. Yeah, Wait exactly. for it. Wait it's, for it. It's not, it's not the breed. It's the breeder. Exactly. The Indiana Pacers are looking for a measure of revenge tonight against the New Jersey Nets. Let's check out the highlights. Steven Jackson's David... Reggie Miller's looking good. Later, he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom goes the dynamite. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. (laughs) 
So Avengers is out, and I'm giving you now 10 seconds to turn off the podcast and fast forward a little bit because we are going to talk about a few things that may spoil it for you. And in these 10 seconds, I'm going to sing Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. Go. You got to know when to hold them. Two. Know when to fold them. Four. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. Ten. Okay, so now we can talk openly because they're gone. All right, so Avengers, the uh, Infinity War, have you seen it? Yes. And overall, what would you give it on a scale of one to ten? A scale of one to ten, I would give it an eight or a nine. Really? You liked it that much? I loved it. Because I'm going to admit something right now. My friend Kyle bought the tickets to see Avengers six months in advance. I'm not exaggerating. Whenever they went on sale, he bought them, right? So you could buy them a long way out. He bought them and was like, hey... Do you want to go see the movie? And I'm like, sure, sounds fun, because I like my friend Kyle. He's fun, you know what I mean? We go out, whatever. He's like, okay, well, my wife is going to go with me, and do you want to bring your wife? And I'm like, yeah, we'll do a double date. Well, I didn't realize that Kyle was so into the movie. I didn't realize Kyle's wife was a dude. (laughs) (laughs) Which is a whole other story. Not only a dude, but he had polio as a child, and he has an alcohol problem. (laughs) No, it's Kyle's wife is a woman who listens to this all the time. Um, so yeah, so they were really into it. So he did the nice thing and decided and to dressed up like Thanos. No. <laughs> he did the nice thing and dressed up as Thanos. He burned or put every one of the Avengers movie in order onto an iPad that I could watch. Like, he loaded all the movies. Have you never seen a Marvel movie? Well, here's the issue. Oh, my gosh. I have seen... Is this going to be another snowshoes bomb? (laughs) Am I going to have to reach over there and strangle you? Listen, I've seen Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. I've seen all the Spider-Men. (laughs) Spider-Man. I've seen Avengers. Uh, I've seen Ultron or Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. I've seen Civil War. Okay. And I didn't see Black Panther. Did you see any of the Captain Americas? I saw the f- first, well, is there one, is there one where he fights somebody? Like, the there's first Captain w- America, and then there's Captain America Winter Soldier. I didn't see Winter Soldier. And I then saw the Captain first. Captain America Civil War. That's actually not an Avengers. Okay, so I Captain saw that America. one, and I saw Captain, Mem- uh, Captain America, the one where he's super little and they pump him up, and he, like, so the, first the first one, one yeah. where he like, fights the Nazis. I've also seen Wonder Woman, where he's which, super little, and then they pump him up. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I've also seen Wonder Woman, which has nothing to do with this conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. DC. Who yeah. Cares? Okay. Crap. Anyways, so I've seen that many. Well, he put every one of them. We're talking so Ant-Man. you didn't see any of the Thors? No. You no. didn't see any Ant-Man? No, I did not you see him. You didn't see Hulk? No. Didn't see Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange. Which I tried to watch on um, the uh, iPad the other day because it's on Netflix right now. So I right. tried to watch while I was right. running. I just couldn't hear what's going on. That's the problem. Like my iPad doesn't go loud enough to get over the uh, treadmill. And the Doctor super, Strange is very cerebral. Super heavy breathing. Like there was a lot of breathing. Yeah. Uh, like I'm running and trying to listen to Doctor Strange. I couldn't hear yeah. anything. I think it was No, it's was- very cerebral. Like it's not like action y, like. It's talking dimensions and all sorts right. of stuff. There's so you a lot going on with Tilda Swinton, listen. right? Yeah. Isn't she the person yeah. in that with no hair? Yeah, Tilda and she Swin- is in every movie. Yeah, that's kind of her deal. Anyway, so I saw Infinity War, but I had not seen all of the movies. I'd never seen the Guardians of the Galaxy, which they're hilarious. I found them very funny. Um, You've never seen No, Guardians. I never saw any of them. Guardians of the Galaxy are the best Marvel movies. Also tried to watch number two. For some reason, number one is not on Netflix. Number two is still couldn't hear what was going on. Um, but I found that the dialogue between Thor and the, what he kept calling the bunny was hilarious. I found that that was very funny. And even though I had never seen all of the movies, I had still was able. You had an idea what was going on. Listen, Infinity. you know who the good guys are. You know who the bad guys are. You know who Thanos is bad. And he's going to obviously try to rule the world. Were you surprised by the ending? Yes. Yes, I, I was surprised by the ending. I was. Because people were throwing things at the movie theater screen at the end of it. Even after they had seen Captain Marvel, which was, of course, you picked up on that, right? At the very end, after the credits, did you see that part? Yeah. When he send, when Samuel L. Jackson sends out the signal, the logo that comes up is Captain Marvel. Did you know that? No. Kyle had to tell me this. I didn't know. So for all those out there, who are like, you never seen, you know... The movies, and you think you know everything. That's where we're at, by the way, with everything. Oh, okay. So basically, the ending of the movie is that half of the people are gone, 
right? Including Correct. half the universe is gone. Half of the people that we know and love, including you know Spider Man and you know half the Black Panther crew, and they send out the signal, and right before they you know vanish, you see that Captain Marvel, who is Brie yeah, but- Larson. Okay. She's got her own movie coming out pretty soon. She has received the signal. Okay. For because she's Captain Marvel, so that there is hope in this whole thing. Okay. You kind of knew they were going to have to set it up for another movie because there's another movie coming out next year, right? Well, that's why I don't understand why everyone is going banana. No, they're going crazy. Like it's not like it's not like that happened, and then you watch the end of the credits, and it's like. Marvel Studios, like, see everyone, (laughs) closing the door, locking it, flipping a close sign. Right. Like, it's a movie. They can make another one. Well, and not to mention- And think about the Infinity Gauntlet. All it takes is someone putting it on, turning back time. Exactly. So you're on the same boat as I am. Even though I haven't seen and I'm not by any means a aficionado of the Marvel Universe, yeah, the Green Crystal- move time. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. He was able to do it with uh, the guy with the thing in his head. What's his name? A vision. Yeah, he was able to do it that way, where she, you know, she killed them, the Olsen sister. Yeah, which is so funny to me that her sisters are Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Did you know that? No. Who? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. Who are you talking? about? The girl about? that is with um, Vision, the girl who like moves her hands all around. Yeah. And the, the the she's like Russian supposedly. Yeah, like the Scarlet Witch. Yeah, that's Scarlet Witch, isn't she from Suicide Squad? Or is her name Scarlet Witch? No, I thought it was. I thought it was Scarlet Witch and okay, the girl that Marvel. like is in love with him in the beginning, and they're like in Paris or whatever, and then they yeah, like, yeah, she is Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's younger sister. She is. Yeah. I didn't know this. Hundred percent, I know that for real. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. And you obviously have not seen um, the guy with the with the arrows, whatever the hell his name is, Hawkeye. Yeah, he's somehow in jail still, so he still can come back. I, you know, I think that people who are losing their mind and are that upset about it, it's gonna. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Well, the the thing that I that the only part of the movie that rubbed me wrong was when they had Thanos and they were trying to pull the the gauntlet off of him. You know, and they stabbed him in the chest with the with the um with the axe. You mean? No, l- like um. Oh, they were tr- yeah. They had him. They had him. They had yeah. his arms. Yeah. So they had his arms. And all that stuff, and then Mantis is, you know, has him asleep. What I didn't understand is, I thought at the beginning of the movie, I thought they were foreshadowing when there was the fight in the middle of the street, and that big dude with like the axe that's like on Thanos's team. Mm-hmm. They were like fighting in the streets of New York, and Doctor Strange, like as the guy jumped at him, Doctor Strange like opened a portal. The guy fell through the portal into like. Uh, Antarctica or something. Yeah, it was snowy wherever. And then, like, he jumped back to jump back through, and they shut it, and it cut off the guy's arm. So I'm thinking that's a foreshadow that he doesn't have an arm. That they can open up a portal, and then they can close it, and and it's like chopping whatever it is. So I'm thinking when they have Thanos and his arms are to his side and Mantis is on his head, why couldn't Doctor Strange open a portal? Put it over his head, put his head in another dimension, and then close it, essentially cutting off, decapitating Thanos with his head in another universe. Right, so they're in two different spots. And end of movie. No, see, I like where your head's at for that. So that's what I thought that was going to happen, and then, you know, Star-Lord punches him in the face, he wakes up, and then everything happens. Right. So at that point, I'm like, this sucks, because this could have go like this is not how it should have gone mm-hmm. the rest of the movie was great i still love the movie like i said i give it an eight or nine but i did think at that point like eh. and the other thing that drives me nuts is wakanda they're supposed to be so far advanced yet they're still fighting with spears <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, very true. Come on. Yeah, yeah. They're like, because she can, the girl, the, I don't know if she has a name in the movie or whatever, the girl that was trying to put together all the different cells. Yeah. Like, she was so far advanced with her scientific knowledge that she was able to manipulate cells and nerves and all this stuff, but like you said, and but they're still screaming they, they, things they out. They fight and, with swords. Right. Spears. Spears. Yeah. Like it's, And they have no armor. Right. Like, they, they dress like... 
Like, I mean, they dress like you would think like a warrior tribe back in like yeah. the day. Like yeah. everyone was so happy about Black Panther because it was a movie that took African Americans and had an all African American cast. But if you really break it down, and let's be honest, it's pretty racist in the fact that it's like okay, this is a primitive right community, yet they have so far advanced technology. But they're not smart enough to use that technology on themselves. Only one guy gets to use it. <laughs> Only one guy gets the cool suit. Right, exactly. Everybody else gets a loincloth and like leaves over their boobs. Right. And they fight with spears. Like that doesn't make sense. Right. And so in the end, I think I'm going to say that I'm going to give this movie an eight. Like I think it was good. Uh-huh. I will say I didn't know everything about that, what was going on. So I admit that I probably should have done some more research and I maybe should have watched at least one part of one movie that Kyle had put on the iPad for me. I didn't watch any of them. But who wants to sit there and watch 40 hours of movies? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have done that. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have done that. I mean, it's a nice thing that he did. I Like, could you just give me the gist? <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead of watching 60 hours of movies, I just went up 20 hours. Instead of watching 60 hours of movies... I'd rather read right a twenty minute. Well, someone said that there's a there is like a ten minute thing that you can watch online on YouTube that's like get, like that basically is say it says getting up to date so that you can watch Infinity War where it's like here's what you need to know right because there is a lot of filler in these movies right like I don't need to know uh, uh, the relationship between Spider Man and Mary Jane <laughs> like it has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Same with Ant Man. Like I don't. Rachel need to McAdams know- is not going to make a, a a a appearance in this movie, right? So we don't need to know that he once dated her back yeah, when he was I a don't- surgeon, right? So all that stuff, it just it doesn't it doesn't matter. So to bring it up to speed, yeah, that's something that's a little bit easier to watch. I mean, I understand that Adam Grant from the Detroit News put this <laughs> iPad together for you. <laughs> it was not him that did that. <laughs> Let me ask you a question: Do you think Kirsten Dunst, who lives in the Where Are They Now files, was like? I'm available for this movie. Right. Hey, I'll be, I'll be Mary Jane. You're like, uh. We're good. What? No, we're good. I think they're doing another cheerleading movie. Bring it on. Seven. So what is your name? My name. Yes, your name. Come again. Come again. Come again. Come again. Come again. Come again. Come Come again. That's going to do it for episode 62 of Cal Cagno Radio. It's the stuff between the breaks that makes me so happy. Uh, thanks for Joe being here today. Thanks for Joe being here today. Cal, thank you for your delicious table wine. You're very welcome. We're not sure if it's a Pinot Grigio. We're not sure if it's a Merlot. We're not sure if it's a Cabernet. We just know it's red. I'm sure. I'm sure it's none of those. <laughs> but... I've been in this game a little longer. If you want to find out more about the show, go to calcagnoradio.com. That's C-A-L-C-A-G-N-O radio.com. Or email the show, calcagnoradio at gmail.com. Either way, have a great day. You too. Your mothers this weekend. Give them something nice that they actually like more than just a plant. Yeah. They gave you life, for God's sakes. They gave you life. They had to deal with you kicking them in the uterus, <laughs> in, the, in, in the bladder for nine months, or some of you, if your mom smoked seven and a half months, <laughs> so do something nice for them. And boom goes the dynamite.